Hi everyone, my name is Liu Jiawei. Today, I'm very glad to introduce our recent work, Extract the Knowledge of Graph Neural Networks and Go Beyond It, an Effective Knowledge Distillation Framework. Okay, let's begin. In this talk, I will first introduce some research background and the motivation of our work. Then, I will present our model and the experimental results in detail. Finally, I will summarize our work. Let's begin from the background. Node classification is a fundamental task in graph analysis, and in the past decades, it has been successfully applied to a wide range of real-world applications, such as user profiling, recommender systems, and so on. There are two kinds of prior knowledge inherent in node classification tasks. The first one is structure-based prior which assumes two linked nodes tend to have similar labels, and therefore it is also known as the homophony phenomenon. For attributed graphs, another important one is feature-based prior knowledge, which assumes that nodes with similar features tend to have similar labels. Recently, with the success of deep learning, Methods based on graph neural networks have demonstrated their effectiveness in classifying node labels. However, the entanglement of graph topology, node features, and the projection metrics in GNs leads to a complicated prediction mechanism. Therefore, GNs cannot take full advantage of prior knowledge lying in the data. Actually, Averaging the prior knowledge is critical for the performance of any models and tasks. DN is no exception. To take better advantage of the prior knowledge, recent studies proposed to incorporate the label propagation mechanism into GCN by adding regularizations or manipulating graph filters. Their experimental results show that GCN can be improved by emphasizing structure-based prior knowledge. Nevertheless, these methods have three major drawbacks. Firstly, the main bodies of their models are still GNs and thus hard to fully utilize the prior knowledge. Secondly, they are single models rather than frameworks and thus not compatible with other advanced GN architectures. Thirdly, they ignore another important prior knowledge, that is feature-based prior, which means that a node's label is purely determined by its own features. To address these issues, we propose a knowledge distillation framework. So what is knowledge distillation? Knowledge distillation was proposed for model compression where a lightweight student model is trained to mimic the soft predictions of a pre-trained teacher model. After that, the knowledge in the teacher model will be transferred into the student model. So back to our model, given an arbitrary pre-trained GN as teacher, our student model can make better use of both structure and feature-based prior knowledge. Besides, the knowledge in GN teachers will be extracted and injected into the student during knowledge distillation. Thus, the student can go beyond its corresponding teacher with more effective predictions. Taking the center node V as an example, the student model starts from with row features and the uniform label distribution as soft labels. Then, at each layer, the soft label prediction of V will be updated as a trainable combination of parameterized label propagation from with neighbors and the feature transformation of with features. Finally, the distance between the soft label predictions of student and the pre-trained teacher will be minimized. Now let's pay more attention on the details of our model. As we all know, label propagation is a traditional node classification method, which propagates labels through edges. 
emphasizing the structure based for knowledge. Our PLP module further parameterizes it with by modeling the importance of different neighbors. To be more specific, we will assign a confidence score C to each node V, assuming that the label predictions of some nodes are more confident than others. Such, such nodes will be more likely to propagate their labels to neighbors and keep themselves unchanged. To emphasize feature-based peer knowledge, we introduce multi-layer perceptron as a feature transformation module. When combining PLP and the HD modules as the full model, we learn a trainable parameter alpha for each node V to balance two parts. Finally, we minimize the software prediction between teacher model and our students' final layer outputs as distillation objectives. To evaluate the effectiveness of our model, we conduct extensive experiments. We choose seven GN models as teachers, test file benchmarking data sites, and design four student variants for ablation study. Note that CPF-IND and CPF-TRA both have the full architecture, while PLP or FT only has one part of or CPF model. The main results are shown in the table. We can find that CPF models always perform best and can improve the performance of the corresponding teacher model consistently and significantly. Besides, we vary the number of propagation layers K from 5 to 10 to observe the changes of results. From the figures, we can see that the gaps between uh, among different k are relatively small, which verifies the robustness of our framework. To further demonstrate the effectiveness of our framework, we conduct ad additional experiments under different training ratios. In specific, we take a core data site as an example and verify and vary the um, number of labeled nodes per class from 5 to 50. From the figures, we can see that the learned CPF IND and CPF TRA students consistently outperform the pre trained GN teachers under different label rates, which illustrates the robustness of our framework. Now we will analyze the potential interpretability of the learned student model CPF. Specifically, we will probe into the learned balance parameter R for V between PLP and FT, as well as the confidence score CV of each node. We analyze the top 10 nodes with the largest and the smallest R for V and CV and select four representative nodes for case study. We find that a node with a larger R per V or CV will be more likely to have the same predictive neighbors, while a node with a smaller R per V or CV will probably have more neighbors with different predicted labels. This observation matches our intuitions. Firstly, the prediction of a node will be confused if it has many neighbors with various predicted labels, and thus can be cannot benefit much from label propagation. Secondly, a uh, diverse the, the neighborhood of a node will lead to lower confidence to propagate its labels. Now let's summarize the work. Firstly, we propose an effective knowledge distillation framework to extract the knowledge of an arbitrary pre-trained GN model and injected it into a student model for more effective predictions. Secondly, we designed the student model as a trainable combination of parameterized label propagation and the feature-based two-layer MLP, as the student model has a more interpretable prediction precise and naturally preserves the structure and feature-based graphs. Consequently, 
to learn the student model can utilize both GN and uh, prior knowledge. Finally, experimental results on five benchmark data sites with seven GN teacher models demonstrate the effectiveness of our framework. Extensive studies by probing the learned ways in the student model also illustrate the potential interpretability of our methods. Thank you.